Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner. Now, I left you guys uh, in a bit of a cliffhanger. Well, not exactly a cliffhanger, but a truck hanger. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Anyways, uh, last time. Uh, and you're probably wondering what am I doing with the Chevrolet CK1500? Well, I decided I'm gonna be doing a classical series uh, rescue operation and trying to uh, recover this truck. I mean, I could have just recovered uh, the big truck, right? And come back here and do what I said and, you know, redo this. But you know what? Let's have a bit of fun here. Let's uh, try and see if we can uh, tip this over again and uh, finish this uh, with the truck without doing, like, uh, very cheesy recovery. So, uh, handbrake on. Let's use the winch on this. And flip this up. Well, I don't think I even needed to use the winch. Okay. Uh, cool. So that that that's good, <laughs> I guess. Um, oh, you know what? I I, I might as well see if I want to see if um if, does this have one slot in the back? That's my question. Does can this fit that? I don't think so. I entirely don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. In any case, um, let's uh, refuel the truck because it's had some fuel problems. Just to make sure we don't have any issues. Uh, so, refuel. Uh, refuel from the source. Refuel from the small roof rack. Refuel the Paystar. Okay, that's 40 liters down the hatch. Um, I don't think we need to. Might as well uh, leave this with its own fuel. Uh, let's V. Let's change truck to the base star. Uh, actually, handbrake. Why aren't you? And B. Let's turn off the engine as well. There we go. We're back in business, boys. Um, handbrake off. Engine on. Handbrake here. B. Uh, activate anchor and crane mode. Can I? I just want to check if I can uh, crane uh, the truck. Oh god, I can crane the truck. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's not crane the truck. That sounds great. Okay, so uh, we need to do this. Attach this. We need to raise this. Oops. A lot of raising. Okay. I wish the camera would be more responsive, to be fair, but oh well. Okay, so it's here, and now we need to. S all the way. Oh, okay, just S. I mean, just uh, pulling it backwards. I don't need to uh, raise it all that much. Or maybe I do. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's lower the winch. And I would call that good, right? Pack the cargo. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's restore the crane and let's head out. Handbrake, let's get the other one. Let's be ever so slightly more careful, shall we? Break. Cool. V. Uh, activate anchor. And crane mode. Whoa, 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 uh, okay, no, <laughs> no, I refuse. Uh, restore crane, let's get ourselves in a better position because this apparently isn't it. Uh, all wheel drive, please, thank you. Okay, 
Is this a better position? Okay, should be. I think it's still an incline, but it is what it is. Let's activate the anchor. Let's do a crane mode. Yeah, this should be solid. Let's attach it. Uh, oop, not that. F, right? No, I need R to raise it. There we go. Uh, no, I didn't need to raise it. I need to... Oh, crane controls are complicated. But this is what I needed for it to do. There we go. Uh, no. Lower. There we go. Something, something. It's about right anyway. Perfect enough. Good enough for government work. Unpack cargo. Pack cargo. Restore crane. And all is good on the western front. Uh, let's uh, head back with this uh, precious cargo all the way to the factory. I will recover the... Um, uh, sorry, I will recover the um, Chevrolet. But I'm not going to be recovering it unless we actually finish this mission and we are sure we will not be tipping over horribly because of some random reason. So, you sure, just making sure we don't need its assistance anymore. Oh, what happened here? Just a bit of a truck hiccup. Wow, does this ever feel bouncy but heavy, if it makes sense? It goes all over the place. Fuel is a problem right now. I mean, for sure. If I would, if I were to have been playing this game like in a hardcore mode, actually, you know, leaving fuel trucks and stuff all over the place, I'm not exactly sure I'd be having much fun. Just because uh, all these little trips require. I mean, I mean basically, you're spending what, an hour each map just to set up the fuel tracks, the trucks, which are relatively cheap and not a big deal, and that would mostly provide all the logistics you need, but still. Anyways, space, cargo management, uh, unload, not load, and that's it, I'm level 7, missing machinery, not bad, we might have more work for you if you keep this up, cool, that's 280 XP and 3200 credits, we are now up to 35,000 even with the, uh, oh right, do you know what we can do, it's gonna be a bit of logistics, and I don't know if you guys actually care to see that, but, um, let's, uh, hmm, let's, we still have to do this barrels alpha here, don't we, hmm, I wonder. Okay, let's switch over to the um, to the Chevrolet. Let's uh, finish up this barrel alpha here. Uh, we have enough fuel for that, and then we come back here. We take the rest of the fuel from the pay star and re uh, retire that. We'll try to recover that, and then we'll take one of these traders back home. Uh, but first and foremost, we have to get off of this hill. I don't really want to take the long way around, but I don't want to get mucked down either, to be honest. So let's uh, do the intermediate route. It's going to be something like this, this. Let's try coming down through here. That should probably be a thing. I have 38 liters, that should be more than enough for that little jaunt. Even with how much this uh, sucks through, that should be enough 
to get me back to the factory and suck all the fuel that's remaining in the, um, in the pay star. I'm a bit ambitious with my terrain choice, aren't I? There and that looks like a very deep dive. No, 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 no. no. Okay, uh, could have been worse, could have been better. Okay, that gets us back up and running. But I think for sure I'm using the all wheel drive. Oh, okay, easy there, easy there. Let's bounce more actual. Roll. Let's parking brake this and lower, lower this car. The parking brake active, which probably is a horrible thing to do. But anyway. Okay, remove the parking brake. It's supposed to go through here and there. I mean, eesh, I'm skeptical of this. Uh, apparently, there's. A better option on the left side but I mean the smartest option here would be for me to actually go around I don't think I want to cross this just straight out oh actually we don't really have any options here either I mean I can cross through there is turning out to be just slightly ever so slightly more complicated than I thought it would be. Okay, this is this by crawling ourselves, scraping ourselves on this rock here. Mm, okay, this doesn't look too bad. This looks fine. Let's park and break this. I would rather not break this tree, but oh uh, well. And let's take it easy on the left side here and see if we can cross over uh, okay that's a dangerous water level I don't like that I think we should be fine still we're making progress but I think I'd rather have the low range for this enough that stack actually saved us because otherwise that short stack from the um, engine would have saved us otherwise we'd have uh, had a stalled engine here let's keep going slowly through this muck and you know what i'm actually kind of wondering if yeah no <laughs> if i could just winch it <laughs> instead of hitting it there we go Congrats, that'll get your picture up in the break room in honor of your victory. Here's your reward. Okay, cool. That was a bit of XP and some cash, which we need. And now we need to actually go back, well, not home, but to the factory. Um, I need to get here. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I need to get there. And cross through here. And get back to the factory. Uh, yeah, this should be the most solid option for me. Uh the range so I can actually reverse. Let's not reverse too much because we want to keep that solid ground under us as much as we can. Let's push short, short range, I'm sorry, low range as much as we can. It's going to be grueling but we need to go through it. Okay, that's a solid piece of log right there, which we've seen that they can hinder us more than they help us. Let's see if we can do... We can go through this a bit faster. If that works. And back on terra firma. That's fantastic. Uh, let's hope we have just enough fuel to um, get back. We should. And with what's under, what's in the pay star, I think, 
it's like 60 liters or something, that should be more enough to top us off and I think be enough to get us back to the garage with the trailer so we can sell it. for it or maybe you do Come on, let's just burst through this let's not spend more time here than we have to either way this is a horrible horrible area it's terribly mucky okay, let's use these rocks here as solid ground okay that rock was more impedance than helpful but doesn't really matter that actually got us through. Yeah, no, let's just keep uh, all wheel drive on because this terrain is pretty bad. Ooh, that's a nice jolt of speed there. And we're back. <laughs> and the moment I say we're back, we just get stuck horribly. Okay, that, that should be fine. Come on. There we go, perfection. Now, let's uh, refuel. Let's, okay. <laughs> let's uh, V, refuel from the Paystar. And yeah, just pressing F just does 20, but keeping F up just does everything. Cool. Uh, that maxes out, to be honest. We still have a liter there, which I'm gonna be cheeky and oh no i can load it in the roof rack oh well um okay let's uh switch truck let's switch to pay star let's uh, recover the pay star yes uh, let's go back to the garage let's go back into chevrolet and let's return back home with one of these um trailers because we definitely don't need two of these scout traders here. And this is money we're just leaving on the field. Okay, attach it. And let's set ourselves a road back home. Something that's not too mucky, not too muddy. We've had enough of that lately. Hmm. I mean, I don't feel like going the the very long way around so let's do this let's do this let's go through here and let's uh sure let's risk it let's just go through here that would save us some time also save us from this little mur mucky period here and yeah something like that Okay, let's head home with about 4,000 bucks worth of uh, trailer. I mean, there's definitely something against um, just leaving trailers around, right? now uh, off the top of my head what episode we're on is this uh, about 20 I think I hope not because uh, if we're like on I know 18 or 19 maybe we can do something special for 20 maybe we can uh, for 20 we can uh, just uh, leave this area and do one of those uh, Smiths Smithsville Smithsonian Smiths Smith something Smithsville that dam and uh, see some new area because we have so far gotten so uh, familiar with uh, the beautiful terrain of uh, black michigan usa black michigan black river <laughs> black river michigan usa that um, a change of scenery might be nice to be fair there's still a lot to be done here i mean we haven't done any of the drilling uh things I said that one of, our, one of the things we have available is actually setting up the drill site. 
I think including taking the oversized heavy drill. Uh, you know, I completely thought about this extremely, extremely late, but maybe not too late. Actually, yeah, too late. Um, it would have been nice, maybe I could have gotten something, something from the factory. Uh, you know, something that I may need later. I think they have like oversized cargo and something else, I don't know what else. It might have been nice, so I can just have it at the garage in case I need it. Because it's so rare to actually returning to the garage empty handed. Uh, what? Did I set the route that takes me up that thing? Uh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. It's like Google Maps. I can actually set a, a route after I set the route. Okay, that's a lot more functional than I thought it was. So, let's do it. Doesn't seem too bad. And I got enough juice with this uh, truck to actually do the pull up this hill. With, with an empty trailer at the very least. Not the full one, I guess. I think I should probably look back at one of my earlier videos and see how much trouble I've had with, uh, you know, the watchtowers, you know? Oh, yeah. I think this may be just a bit too ambitious, but let's see if we can Spider-Man us ourselves up there. The camera is going all kinds of wild. But hey, we did it. We're up here. Cool. Okay, let's see. We don't need that. Oh, who put this here? Who put this thing here? Oh, I think this is uh, one of the meteorological things that we need to do. Neat. Um, now, we're gonna have a tiny problem because we have to get down from here. Oh god, all the way there. Is there actually, there's a road here, right? There should be a road here. Okay, let's uh, mark it down. Maybe I didn't see it in this darkness. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a road. Cool. Uh, it's not exactly a very useful road for us to do with the trailer, but okay. Let's keep constant speed, let's keep control of this, let's not let it control us. And there we go, we are down here. Probably not would have done this if I would have known it would have been like this with uh, this trailer, but... It just goes to show how how much this uh, truck has gone from the beginning when we had so much trouble with it to today when we have like raised suspension, the max engine, uh, not the perfect but great tires on it. And of course, the moment I start praising it, we get bogged down, don't we? I mean, it, 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 it's only it's only natural. Wow, that's a lot of fuel I'm burning. But wow, it it got through. Congratulations, little buggy. Sweet home, right? I think so. Let's take the detour on the right here. I think that's a better option. Knock that tree down because it is a bad tree. And go through this patch of muck here. Again, I swear, I hope the other garages have less muck around them. Because this is the muck you always have to go through. Although, to be fair, I am lying a bit. Um, I definitely... Uh, when I got the, the Chevrolet out at the beginning of this episode, you, didn't, you guys didn't see that. I wanted to spare you another 10 minutes of me just uh, shuffling around. But I did go via the, um, uh, the southern side and just... Via, um, what 
was it? Oh, wh wait, why? Oh god, I put the wrong marker down, but oh well, still lovey. Uh, not a big deal, I was wondering why we we're going that way. There we go. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, I d did climb through here. So this is definitely possible. Just to avoid this muck part. But either way, we have apparently more to go. Uh, hmm. Well, if we're at the warehouse, um, let's have a let's have a look. Let's have a look here and and see what what do we still need. So we need some metal beams through the drill side. That's not a big deal. Oil rig we take from Smithsville, I guess. Or for the release from that entrance. Construction rig, semi trader. Oh right, so we need to do that to the drilling site. Nothing but an option. We need to do that and two metal beams. Nothing we uh, really need to take from the warehouse. Okay, the essentials. Devote to the farm. Uh, bricks, wooden planks, uh, wooden planks and fuel and bricks. But bricks for sure. Bricks you only get from the warehouse. Uh, so you know what? You know what? Yeah, just for the sake of it. Let's uh, head to the warehouse. Let's pick up some bricks. Get some bricks up in this trailer. Again, if we're, if we're going uh, back to the garage, might as well not go back with empty handed, right? If we're making the path. I'm kind of weary on fuel, but shouldn't be a huge deal. I think 34 liters is more than enough to get us there. Let's break. Cargo management, bricks, anything else? Service parts. Yeah, let's just get bricks. And take these back home. Get some efficiency up in here. I mean, even if I'm not going to use it for something, it's, I guess it's smart to keep some uh, things there uh, in case you do end up with one of the other uh, tasks that require you, which you haven't unlocked yet. Actually, let me check. Can we see the other ones? Uh, actually, wow. Holy, we actually did all of these? We did, didn't we? Wow. We did all of these. We did almost all of... No, we didn't. Uh, we did one of these and two of these. Okay, so we still have to do a few bits. Um, I was going to check if we can see some of the things that are locked. Yeah, we can. Okay, I'm not going to go through, through that, but... Um, it's neat that you can sort of uh, look to the future, and if you end up in these situations where uh, you're um, hauling nothing, you could be more efficient. And just you know, make your trips worth it. it. Doesn't really matter much for us because we do recover a lot, you know, at the end of every mission. So I'm rarely coming back home per se, or like you know, driving home. I mean. We got stuck. Yeah, we are hauling a bit more than uh, an empty trailer. Nope, not that, please. Oh, don't tip over. Tipping over would be bad. They're on the scout trailer because we can only use a crane, given our newfound crane knowledge, to transfer the bricks over to um, another trailer, like a beer trailer if you want to do it, with the uh, base star or something else. Okay, so where am I supposed to be going? Left, right? I think right here? Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We actually came through here oh gods 
you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try and do this. Maybe show you guys this uh, route. I don't I don't want to brick through that muck. We I think we all know how much experience we have with that muck and how it's entirely possible that that will end up poorly. So let's do this. I think it's entirely doable. Shouldn't be too bad. Keeping acceleration. I'll probably take some damage here, but that's fine. Oh, didn't even take damage. Cool. That's exactly how you do it. Amazing. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna leave this trailer here. I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh... Break. Uh, let's hand. Let's auto wheel drive off. Um, ooh, catch. That's what I want to do. Uh, actually, I think this is a good stopping point for today, guys. Uh, we're about at the half hour mark. We've done a fair bit of job, fair bit of job, fair bit of work today. Um, we successfully got that truck solved and completed that uh, uh, delivery mission for the four drilling parts. Uh, as for next time, I'm entirely unsure what we'll be doing. Um, maybe we'll actually head out uh, of Smithville and to get this oil rig, right? Because I think this is out of town. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure it's here. I'm pretty sure we actually have to go to, you know, travel to get the oil rig drilled from uh, Smithville. But either way, we have to do it in turn, so I have to do the metal beams first and nothing else, but that should be relatively quick. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Uh, but yeah, you know what? We'll see. It'll be a surprise. We'll probably ha head over to Smithville uh, either way, either on this one or one of the other ones from Husky Forwarding. So again, I hope you guys had fun in this. Um, do that uh, like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Leave a comment if you really liked it. I hope this uh, calm series is something different than you guys have seen uh, on YouTube. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one.